Hi there, we're going to work on the right hand scale fingering for the chromatic scale. Typically I'll use C as the main example parent scale. Um, in this case, um, I'm going to start the chromatic scale example using B. Um, it really doesn't matter where you start a chromatic scale because it's using the whole series of, of notes, but for learning the clusters and how I'd like to have you practice the fingering, um, it, you can really see it here starting on B. So starting on B, going all the way up to B here, you would go with a um, with a clustered scale fingering of this. One, two, three. One, three. One, two, three. One, three. One, three. And then ending on uh, your thumb. So it sounds and looks like this. back down. Here it is slowly. scale that I use a lot when I'm learning, you know, what notes might be out of tune on the piano. I kind of do it as a trick, quick drill up and down the whole length of the piano to just really hear each individual note and the, the tone quality. But for example, if I do want to use C, um, like I said, you can start the scale anywhere, um, but you'll get to pretty much use the same scale fingering as the parent scale that I used uh, B. So to start C, you just start on your second finger. Two, three, one, three, one, two, three, one, three, one, three, one, two. Two, one, three, one, three, one, three, two, one, three, one, three, two. Right? So you can also start sometimes scales with your thumb when they're starting on a white note. Typically, our thumb just wants to play down here, not up on the black notes. So, but I really want to emphasize um, playing with your third finger. You could sometimes get away with your second finger, but the third finger is what finger naturally wants to reach up here to the black notes. All right, I hope this is helpful. Probably a little overboard on uh, fingering, but uh, this is the, the fingering you can use for all 12 of your chromatic scales. So it's a really easy one that you can memorize uh, for all of them. Thanks.